honored to be recognized as one of this year's innovation leaders for women in supply chain. We had a very busy period of time in the last two years, as many in supply chain did. But Amerisource Bergen, um, our primary business is pharmaceutical distribution. And so also the purpose that we live as an organization of being a healthcare company, it was very seriously taken during COVID. It was really a most difficult time, I think, of my career, um, the long days, the long hours, but it was also the easiest hours of my career to work because you got up every day and you knew you were saving someone's life. You were getting that pharmaceutical product to care for patients. So we're really proud of our industry as a whole, but we're also really proud of Amerisource Bergen and how we've responded. It's been very rewarding, but also very overwhelming. And it excites me that that's been recognized as us being a stable pillar during all of this time, but it also excites me and what we can do going forward. How can we think differently about how we do business? How can we think differently about whom we're doing business with? And how can we advocate for healthcare equity? And how can we also have those, like, rise up those that need to be risen? And I see that in women and leaders. I see that empathetic leader getting much more press now, getting much more appreciation. And that is now coveted and desired by all of our team members. So now I think we have seen empathetic leadership and now it's being rewarded in ways that we haven't seen before.